What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. We're about to take a look at truck driver shenanigans in the fuel island. <laughs> Starting off with this young lady from TikTok and Instagram, where she talks about her issues with another driver being hemmed up in the fuel island. And then from there, you're going to see various TikTokers talking about their shenanigans in the fuel island. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Well, y'all, I'm trying to be as calm as I know how because I already went the fuck off on this ninja. Okay. So tell me if I'm right or am I right? Okay. When you get to the truck stop, the fuel island is for fueling, right? So if you got something to do, you need to pull off the fuel island and do what the fuck you got to do so other people can continue to do their job, right? Okay, so this goddamn driver, Sire, however they say the job, S-A-I-A, -A, pulling doubles, got his ass in the fuel island. Okay, I'm on the phone with my best friend. We having a conversation, not that best friend, but best friend, okay? So then we're gonna turn around, we having a conversation, and this motherfucker been sitting in the fuel island for 45 minutes. I'm being as calm as I can fucking be, but at this point, you take it too motherfucking long. So then I get out, and I say, hey, 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 Bang, bang, bang on your motherfucking door, because first of all, you're going to put your head out like you don't want to fucking see me, bitch. You see me? You can't fucking miss me. Hello? I need you to move your I need you to move your truck so that I can continue to do my job. I need to get fuel and I need to go. Bitch, I'm out here in Arizona. It's hot. I ain't got time to be motherfucking playing with you. Hello? He's going to say, okay, hold on just a second. Give me a second. Bitch, you done had 45 minutes, and I was being calm at that point, but now you finna get all this, bitch. So this guy... <clears throat> parked in front of me I don't want to mention any company names because I'm not going to run any company down but parked his truck we're at a fuel a fuel pump pulls his truck up fine great wonderful I, I fuel up I said hey you mind getting the hell out of the way that way you know I can get on with my day I was nice about it you know he said fuck off he gets out and goes and gets a shower so I got to sit right here behind him and wait on him to come out before I can leave. It made me a little mad. So I had some extra padlocks laying around in my truck. So now that son of a bitch is going to play hell opening up that trailer. Hey, this is Happy Hobo with another helpful hand. You ever go look for a parking spot and find out some jackass is taking two of them? Maybe cut you off? Need a solution? Well, here I got the solution. Take some of these old locks. You can get them from Harbor Freight real cheap. And when they get old, you know, you, know, you can use them for another purpose. There you go. First, break that motherfucker's seal off. Fuck him. Then, take your old lock. Lock the first side, the right side. Take your second lock if you got one. Lock that second side. Make sure you get it on there. There you go. Go fuck yourself. Good luck when you get to the shipper. These two trucks in the front of me been sitting on the pump, slow as hell, walking, moving, trying to pump. People got places to go. I've been sitting here for 30 goddamn minutes. How many of y'all have this problem? Like, these dudes are really slow. Like, y'all need to pick up y'all step. I understand it's early in the morning, but goddamn. So, folks, let me tell you about what happened last night. So, I come knock on this fucking truck's window, hoping maybe he can back up and get the fuck out the fuel island. Nobody's in the fucking truck. The damn thing's turned on. The reason being is because that truck in front of mine been parked there since before I pulled up and started fueling. I fuel up, fill up my truck, fill up my auxiliary, clean my windows, chill, and still they didn't move. So, I go knock on the fucking door. It turns out these motherfuckers are doing their dirty eating. So I start telling them some shit, they start fucking laughing like it's a fucking joke. I'm like, bro, this ain't fucking cool. I went inside to find the guy that's been parked here for a half an hour. He told me, like, I'm like, hey, can you move your black Volvo? You're blocking the only working fuel pump. He told me to go fuck myself. So we're parked in front of him, and we're going to make him do the backup. You're going to get very quickly. Can't even back out. Must be hard. <laughs> Fuck 
Let's go, drivers. Let's go with this one because we all have situations dealing with drivers in the fuel islands. When is when has there ever been a when has there ever not been an issue with another truck driver taking their time, doing their 30, in their wasting time, or whatever the case when it comes to the fuel island? There's been plenty of times where I've been jacked up in the fuel island. Of course, I have to go into the store and be like, yo, can you call such and such truck to come out here and move so I can get going? We got to go. We can't be held up. We're busy. Time is money, right? But some of these truck drivers take it to the extreme. And that's where I will come and say, don't take it there. Really, do not take it there. Do not mess with the other person's equipment. Don't mess with that truck driver's truck because you don't know how dangerous it is when you mess with somebody's truck. In one particular, in the one clip, the driver over here talking about putting locks on the trailer doors. You don't want to do that. Go move with another help from that. You ever go look for a parking spot and find out some jackass is taking two of them? Maybe cut you off. You need a solution? Well, here, I got the solution. Take some of these old locks. You can get them from Harbor Freight real cheap. When they get old, you know, you, know, you can use them for another purpose. There you go. First, break that motherfucker's seal off. Fuck him. Then, take your old lock. Lock your first side, the right side. Take your second lock, if you've got one. Lock that second side. Make sure you get it on there. There you go. Go fuck yourself. Good luck when you get to the shipper. <laughs> You don't want to do that. You don't want to take off the seal because the seal is important. If the seal is taken off the door for whatever reason, the receiver can refuse the load. And if that's the case, that is a million dollars right there. And what you're going to end up doing, going to have to end up wasting time going all the way back to the, to the shipper just to get another seal put on that truck, which I know in some cases that we can buy seals at the truck stop and then, you know, get it rectified with the with the shipper. But all that is time consuming. And I understand that you want to you want to waste that driver's time for wasting your time. But you don't want to do that because not all receivers is good with that. When they reject the load, they ain't going to want it at all. Period. Let's talk about the uncomfortable pulling the fifth wheel. Don't do that. That is very dangerous. Now, you could pull the fifth wheel and that person gets back in this truck and let's say the, they don't slide from up under that trailer. All right, cool. They driving down the way. They on the highway. They're driving, minding their business. Then they hit a bump, and then it dislodged from the king. The kingpin dislodged from the fifth wheel. And then that happy-go-lucky family of four in the back just happened to drive, coming back from Cedar Point, crashes, and, and crashes in the back of that trailer. Whose fault is that? Of course, they're going to be like, it's the driver's fault because maybe he should have pre-tripped it to the truck before he left the fuel island. But a lot of us don't even think that way. I do. Trust me. I check my kingpin. I check my fifth wheel all the time. When I get in the truck, when I get out of the truck, when I get in the truck again, I check that fifth wheel. So... Whatever you, whatever you guys do, please, please, please do not mess with the driver's equipment. It's very dangerous to do so. But guys, drivers, let me know if you had any, if you had any situations dealing with the fuel island. All right? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Men Podcast Show.